As of the recording of this video, it is June, and I, like the Toronto real estate market, I'm a bit hazy. For those who are unaware, we recently had our third interest rate hike in early June, and we are currently seeing one of the most significant price declines since the peak of this year. However, I'd like to share my personal opinion and some of the client situation. Why would someone want to sell in this falling market? Stay tuned right after this. Hi, welcome back to AV Team Real Estate channel. I'm Antonio, a local real estate agent in the GTA. If at any point you feel like chatting with me about the real estate market, contact info or book a call with me using the link in the description below. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for weekly video that we put out every week. Early in the year in January and February, we saw the most rapid and biggest appreciation. The market then plummeted considerably more after the Bank of Canada raised rates for the second time in April. The most recent rate rise occurred in June, at which time the market fell behind once more. I don't understand how knowing that another rate rise is expected in July will assist the market. The recent inflation data from the United States did not improve things. It was past expectation and exceeded the forecasted value reaching the all-time historic high at 8.6. In other words, an interest rate hike in July is almost certain. So where do we go from here? Simply said, based on the last three rate hikes, prices are anticipated to continue to fall. For the same reason, I advise clients to hold off until the July announcement. Those who are not in a rush to buy should seriously consider taking a wait and see strategy. But for those that had already made arrangements and had already purchased, those that were closing soon on a property were also under pressure to sell their property. This following example is a client that I recently encountered that had the situation where he decided to go for a detailed home in Brenton and was also considering keeping the condo unit that he recently purchased with us less than a year ago. Since there has been more pressure for a rate hike, the client has seen that this carrying cost has increased and he is feeling additional pressure for another rate hike in July. So he decided to sell it and as you may recall from prior videos, I usually advise keeping real estate for at least 5 years to reduce the risk of losing money. As we can see in the history of Toronto real estate, they always tend to move up. When in the short term, there is always fluctuation and hiccup, especially in a current situation with so much uncertainty. In order to take advantage and take a non-gambling approach, you will most likely win in the long term. However, in certain cases, such as my client, he just does not want to spend excessive costs in order to be more comfortable even though he's not making a profit on the condo unit. Here is one of the reasons why you will want to sell in today's market. Another example is another listing that we are preparing for a client where they have purchased a detached home in Brandon as well. The house was purchased many, many years ago as an investment and the initial price was in the 600. Fast forward to today and the comparable value for the house is roughly about 1.7 million. Of course, there are reasons why the client wants to cash out. Even knowing that this is not the best market to sell, if you are an opportunist, keeping cash now and expecting a major market correction wouldn't be a bad strategy and you could crash more opportunity in the future. If you are up to date on today's real estate market, it is evident that if you were trying to sell, people will hold off and wait. Regardless, there are a number of reasons why sellers are still looking to sell in the market. I just wanted to briefly share some of my local market updates with you so you could get a sense of where the market is right now. Here's a link to my most recent video about the opportunity for buyers in today's market if you haven't seen it yet. Remember that motivated sellers can still offer you great deals. I know it sounds like a broken record but if you want to invest in real estate I will always advise holding for at least five years. Anything less is in my opinion equivalent to placing a gamble in a casino. Working with a real estate agent who can assist you and analyze your situation and represent your best interest is more vital now than ever, especially at this period of time when there are so many uncertainties. But in my opinion, Toronto is different from some other cities in that we have a lot of momentum in terms of immigration to Canada and we know that the vast majority of them will end up in the GTA. This is the main reason why I feel that investing here would not be too risky 
in the long run. Again, if you plan to put it off for another 10 years or more, this isn't a terrible idea. I hope you enjoy a short video and a little update through the example of my current clients listings coming to the market soon. Feel free to book a call with me with the link in the description or simply contact me with the number here or email. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel so that I may feel more confident in creating future videos like this for you. I wish you have a nice day and look forward to seeing you in the next video.